Oh, hello. Uh, hello. Are you Cindy? Yes. yes. Oh, are you? Oh, nice to meet you, Cindy. I'm David. Oh, nice to meet you, David. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from South Korea. Uh, where are you from? Oh, I'm from Indiana in the United States. Oh, you're from Indiana. Well, I've heard of Indiana. Actually, oh. I have spoken to a tutor who is from Indiana. Oh, that's funny. It's a it's not a very uh, popular state. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, really? Oh, but, yeah. So by the way, I didn't know a lot about Indiana. So maybe you can tell me some few things about Indiana. So can oh. you tell me something about it? Yes, it's um, it's where they grow a lot of corn. And so it's oh. farming, mostly farming. And it's very flat up north. It's very flat. It's I live about five hours from Chicago, five hours south of Chicago. So it's very cold in the winter and it's very hot and humid in the summer. And oh. I, I'm originally from California, but I oh, have family. A... Yeah, I'm originally. Oh, so from you're from, uh, you're, was, you was born in California and yes. you moved to uh, Indiana? Yeah. And what's the reason? Um. Well, we had friends out here and family, so we ended up moving out here for, I've been out here a long time, but my heart is in California. <laughs> oh, I got it. Well, How about, we, yes? Yeah, no, no, you go ahead. How about you? Where is your heart? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. So I live in a city called Daegu and I'm, so I was born in Daegu and I'm still living in Daegu. Oh. Do you like it? Yeah, I really like living in my city because uh -huh. I think it's a pretty interesting city. Oh, what makes it interesting? Uh, I think the reason why I think it's an interesting city is because I think there are lots of places to go, uh, such as a theme park. I like going to theme park. Oh. There is a huge theme park called E World, and I really like going there. And I also like going to mountains, actually. Hiking, I mean, mountaineering is one of my favorite hobbies. Oh, and wow. They're, actually, my city is surrounded by mountains. So oh. that's why that is also the one thing that I like about my city. And also there in summer, you know, I can go to a huge a water park. It's called oh, wow. Spa Belly. Uh -huh. And actually, it's super huge. And I can do lots of fun things such as, you know, wave uh -huh. pools, a huge slide. Wow. Also, yeah, there are lots of things to do with water. So that's why I like about my city. Is um are the mountains snow capped in the winter time? Is there snow on the mountains in the winter time? Yes. That's right. There is a snow yeah, on top of the mountain. So yeah, actually I've seen that for a few times. And you know what? So in the ground, I mean, the normal road, I can see the snow, but if you go to the mountain, there is snow. So it was very interesting. Maybe, that sounds yeah, you pretty. Know, yeah. You know, the mountain, I mean, up high, you know, it's colder than the down. So mm -hmm. I think maybe that's why I can see the snow only on top of mountains sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the higher altitude. Yeah, the higher the altitude. Yeah. Um, yeah. What kind of... Um, mountain uh hiking do you do do you do rock climbing uh so actually i've never tried rock climbing i just oh. like doing you know mountaineering like oh. walking oh, yeah. uh, for exercise actually yeah i like you know i like going to mountain because i can breathe fresh air yeah. and you know that is good for our health and i also yeah. like you know exercising my legs and you know that is good for my health as well so that's why yeah, I, I do mountaineering, but I want to try rock climbing one day. So, oh. by the way, speaking of uh, which, yeah, have you ever tried rock climbing? Um, no, but I lived um, part of the time in California. I lived in Joshua Tree, which has a big, um, lots of rocks, and there's a lot of rock climbers. You have to be very strong to be a rock climber. I've never been that strong. You have to have strong arms and fingers because they rocks like that are you really strong could you have like strong fingers to grab the rocks oh sounds yeah that makes sense i think 
Well, actually, I think, yeah, maybe I can enjoy rock climbing because, you know, I also lift the weights and oh. I also sometimes, so, yeah, you know, grip. How do I say? I think I have a yeah, strong like a grip. Yeah. Oh, that's maybe good. it would be good for me. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, uh, I I mean in the in the corner of your screen, I can see some head. And wait, is that a animal? Oh yeah, it's a cat. She's not supposed to be on camera, but I can't get her off. She's <laughs> maybe she really likes you. And by the way, yes, she's she really cute. Oh, thank you. She's getting. Yeah, she oh, gets. Yeah. She gets fed, so she's wanting food. She's hungry. She's like, feed me. <laughs> oh, this is what she's saying. Oh, wow. She's so cute. Well, I wish I had a cat like you. Do well, people should... do people in South Korea, a lot of them have cats in their house? Uh, I don't know. I don't really know about it, but oh. I think yes, yeah, some people have it. Some people has it, but I'm not really sure. Oh, but nice. actually, I, but I can't have a cat even though I want to because oh. my parents hate them. Oh, you know, well. I don't know. They just said uh, they have a lot of furs and, you know, the furs fly everywhere. And also, uh, they need, They said they need to feed every day and they need to clean the, you know, poop or <laughs> something like that. So I think that's, yeah, that's why they don't like, uh, you know, they don't like cats and dogs. Yeah, it is a lot of work, but I think it's worth it. I actually have three cats, so I I have a lot of cleaning work to do. <laughs> oh, I see. Wow, you have three cats. And yeah. by the way, is it hard to raise them? No. No, they're very easy. They're easier than dogs because dogs, you have to walk every day. But cats, to me, are easier. But um I think they're very healthy because in the sense that they help you relax, they're very peaceful, you know, oh, you know, they're that's... very calming to me, very calming. So I, I like them for that reason. Um, but, um, do you have other pets? Do people in Korea, I heard that people in Korea like generally like cats and they have like cat cafes. Is that true? where people could go and have like tea and there's cats there. Is that true? Well, I think, yeah, I've heard of cat cafe, but you know, I think it's rare to see. Maybe it's, I, maybe there, maybe there isn't a lot of them, you know, in my city, but I don't really know about it, but yeah, I also heard that lots of people like, uh, you know, pets such as cats and dogs. That's what I heard. <laughs> Yeah, here in the U.S., probably almost everybody, but a lot of people have pets. It's just a real pet. A lot of people have a dog or a cat or a dog and a cat. It's, I don't know why, but people like pets here, I guess. So. Oh, it sounds like they like uh, raising pets a lot. Well, yes. actually, but you know what? I used to have fish as a pet. Oh, Fishes. oh that's nice. Yeah, I used to have 40 fishes and yeah, they used to live in the plastic container, oh. not in like a, you know, real fish tank. Oh. But actually, now I don't have them. I returned them to their home because, you know, <laughs> they don't like living here. Like, they look really slow because, you know, plastic <laughs> container is not big enough to, not big enough for them. I mean, yeah. because if they are in the river, they can swim everywhere, but plastic container, you know, on, they can even move one meter, so oh, yeah. Yeah. But they want to be in nature, so we just return them. Oh, well, that was nice. And they every pet takes work. You still have to feed them every day and clean their tank, so they take a lot of work as well. Um, That's right. And um, you speak such good English. Very good. Have you oh, been speaking really? a long time? Yes, so I, so yeah, I've been studying English for a long time. So I started, uh, you know, learning English when I was in first, you know, when I was in elementary school. Yeah, oh. when I was in first grade in elementary school, I started. Yeah, I learned ABC. Oh yeah. I mean, I know actually I've heard of ABC before, but you know, I used to study ABC by teacher. And a teacher teaches ABC, and then 
I can, I'm, you know, I speak at, I speak when I was in fourth grade. Actually, I didn't really enjoy before fourth grade. I, I just, you know, you learn ABC and I didn't speak and that was actually boring. But when I become fourth grade, I tried to speak. And actually at that time, I think I enjoyed learning English and I studied every day and maybe now I can speak like this. Oh, yeah. It takes a lot of work. That took a lot of work for you to speak English. That's really That's good. Right. Yeah. I know. And you have to do it consistent, consist mm -hmm. consistently because, so for example, you study English for five days and you took a break, then, you know, your English skill will not increase that fast. Or yeah. maybe it will decrease. So <laughs> I think it's really consistently is important. Well, yeah. Ha have you heard the expression? If you don't use it, you lose it. Uh, I, well, actually, yeah, that uh, that sounds familiar for me, but you know, I'm not really sure. And but that is it, true. Yeah, yeah, even you with your weightlifting, if you don't weightlift, you lose muscle, don't you? You have to keep doing it. That's right. So actually, yeah, I yeah, I try to do it at least, you know, uh, four times a week. Oh, that's four times a lot. A week. Yeah, that's a lot. Oh, it's yeah. a lot, you think? Well, I yeah. think I need to do it more. I oh. think. <laughs> time is Have you traveled to English speaking countries? Uh, so, well, actually, I've never traveled to English. Oh, no, I have traveled to one place. Uh, yeah. So, you know, have you ever heard of Guam? Yes. Oh, you know, so I've traveled there for. Oh. Uh, one week yeah i stayed there for one week and was it actually, beautiful yeah it was i think guam is such a beautiful place oh. i actually i also i yeah i really enjoyed my time there with my family that's nice yeah was it like a holiday or a vacation yeah i i went there for a vacation and oh. you know, we did lots of things such oh. and you know so guam the weather is always hot so we went to beach and we also had a really good dinner by the sea and we met lots of good people, lots of good food. Yeah, I, I wish I could go to Guam again. <laughs> I know, it's very beautiful. Is it very far from Korea? Because it's really far. Even when I lived in California, it was a long way to Guam. I think for us, it's on the other side of Hawaii, I think. I don't know my globe 100%, but how far is it far away for you guys? Uh, so actually, it's not that far from oh. South Korea. Maybe it might be the closest English speaking country. Oh. Actually, that's why we choose to go there. I mean, so my dad said, let's travel, but to English country. And, you know, there are a lot of English country. Like I can even go to America, London. But yeah. the reason why we choose to go Guam is because, you know, it's close and they speak English. So I think, yeah, that's why my dad chose to go there. Uh, how long was the plane flight? Uh, it, I think it was, it only took five hours, you know, and oh, that's yeah. not a lot. No, that isn't. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, I like yeah. islands. Yeah, that's, islands are pretty neat. I know, islands are very cool. Well, I like traveling to islands. I wish I could travel to more islands. Yeah, yeah. 